Now I'm going to start uh, my mains using a starting clamp and flying clamps. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp one of the mains on the outside of the frame. Then I'm going to pull the other main. What I'm doing now is I'm double pulling these strings, which means that I'm pulling tension on this string. The string is going around the frame, and I'm pulling tension on this string. I have two strings under tension, but if you notice this, there's a difference in frequency on this string on this side and the string on this side. And the reason for that is the friction going around this frame is eating up some of my tension so that I don't have the same tension in this string that I had in that string. This one is slightly less. Okay? If you can tell that difference. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp these two strings together. Alright, I've already just adjusted these clamps for this particular string so that I know that they're good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull tension on the next string on my mains. I'm going to take my other flying clamp and clamp it down at the bottom. Now I need to remove my starting clamp. I'm going to pull tension on this string, remove my starting clamp, and I'm also going to remove this clamp right here. Okay? Just to let these tensions even out in here. Then I'll reclamp it. Now I'm going to pull tension on the other main. And I'll move my clamp from this end down to this end. Then I'll go on stringing. Here's another way to start your uh, mains with flying clamps and a starting clamp. I'm going to pull tension on both strings. I'm going to take flying clamp and clamp as far from the tension head as I can. Okay? Now, the only reason I pull tension is to set the tension inside that clamp. Okay? I could have also backed up this clamp on one side with the starting clamp over here, but then I've got to have two clamps to do what I'm going to do. I've got a cold here. It's not working very well. But anyway, I'm going to pull tension now on this string. I'll take my starting clamp and clamp it outside the frame. Okay? Now I've got 60 pounds of tension on that string. This string's loose. I'll pull tension on this string and move my starting clamp from that end up to this end. Excuse me, my floating clamp. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the next main, pull tension, clamp it down here with my other flying clamp. Then I'll remove this starting clamp. Let me just show you how I'm going to do all that. I pull tension, take my other clamp, clamp the string. I pull tension to remove my starting clamp then I could also, just to equalize it, release this clamp, but I'm not going to this time because I think it's good. Okay, now I'm going to pull tension on this main. Move my flying clamp down here and continue stringing this line. Okay, on flying clamps, if you don't have a starting clamp, here's what you can do. Pull tension on both center mains and put your flying clamp dead center. Okay, now I'm going to run the second main on the left side of the racket. Okay, I don't want to just leave this clamp laying down here, which it might get caught up on something. So I'm going to lift it up to where it's 
about in the proper position while I'm pulling tension. What I'm doing now is I'm pulling tension on the second left main going around the frame here losing some friction in this in this turnaround and I'm pulling about the same reference tension on this section of the string and about half the rest reference tension on these two strings down here at the bottom because both of these strings are being pulled by this one clamp at 60 pounds of pressure in this direction so I've got about 60 pounds all the way across this string up to the clamp and then 30 pounds on each side right here. So now what I want to do is I want to take my other clamp and clamp these strings off right here. Okay, now I want to move this clamp so I can pull tension on this main and move this clamp up to the top. Then I can come across this way and string my next main. Another thing that I could have done is remember when I was back here in this position? Just to equalize the string pressure I could have pulled tension on the second right main so that I traded this side of the racket just like I did this side. I can pull tension here and then move this clamp down and then string my racket as normal. 